there have been 44 million reported cases of corona since this pandemic started. There have been 708,000 deaths. That's 1.6% of deaths. The great majority of those are people that are immunocompromised, um, you know, elderly. Same demographic as most disease viruses, and the same demographic as the flu. So all I'm saying is, I know what a vaccine is for. I know what herd immunity is. I know how that works against the virus. But what we're not going to do is keep demonizing people who don't want to get the vaccine and who rather fight it on their own. This isn't a disease where people are dying out and dropping off at high rates. I know people daily who get the corona and come back, like know them. People who get the corona, get the COVID, get COVID, come back healthy. Like I see that on a regular. Some of them might, might, might get a cough. The majority of them might get a cough. Some chills, fever, maybe can't taste. They come back and work in a week. Come on, man. We're not going to act like this is some uh, bubonic plague or something that's dropping people, killing off the, wiping out the population. But they treating it as if, it's, as if it's wiping out the population. And they demonizing people who don't vac vaccinate as though you're going to bring something to other people or bring something to, you know, bring something to other well, they shouldn't be worried if they're vaccinated, first of all, because if they're vaccinated, then they should be good because the, the symptoms won't hurt them as bad. But if they are, but you're worried about unvaccinated people bringing something, say they bring something around your father, your elderly mother or father, but you don't care when unvac unflu vaccinated people come around those same people. The flu vaccine was killing, killed thousands yearly. I mean, the flu virus kills thousands yearly. It morphs yearly. They can't eradicate it. It morphs. It changes. It has a flu season. They have vaccine rounds, but they don't mandate it like this. They they talk about the vaccine there, but they don't mandate it. Mandate it. And they don't demonize you. But if you if you bring the flu around somebody's family, you can kill them. They're elderly or immunosuppressed uh, loved ones just as well. I don't understand. I don't know if the government has an agenda or if the government really is just playing this by ear, and they really just. Uh, on their heels too because this is a pandemic a worldwide pandemic and maybe they are not used to handling this right or handling this but it killed 1.6 percent of people shout out to 1.6 percent of the people because one person that died is too much because that's one person who's took away from their family and their hopes and dreams or whatever but 1.6 of 44 million it's, it's, it's not wiping out the pandemic wiping out the population and it's not at a point where you should demonize and be forcing people to get vaccines now that's crazy how a, demo, a, de, a democratic society can kind of creep into that if the if the if the circumstances right they can creep into that uh totalitarian monarchy type of society they force you to do something even if they don't force you they force you by cutting off your resources that you can do and things you can do in the society they start to cut you off, cut off your, your resources until you get the vaccine. And they're um, playing the media game. They're playing the um, propaganda game by demonizing people who don't get the vaccine. Demonizing sports uh, sports um, athletes. Cam Newton. They said it, but they didn't say it. It was probably the reason he got really the, the, the side effect of why he got cut because he's it came down to him and Mac Jones, and he's unvaccinated, and he had to miss some days. Like, they're demonizing Kyrie Irving right now. They forced Wiggins' hand, uh, Andrew Wiggins' hand in the NBA. He said he don't want to lose so how many millions. He want to hoop and believe in and, and leave generational wealth to his family. So he said, I'm going to take this on the chin, and he just hope nothing go wrong. But y'all twist him an arm because, you know, money runs the society. And once they start cutting off your means of money, they make you do things. That's the way they get you to do things in society. But the vaccinated people can still catch it, catch it and spread it. You know what I mean? They say it dampers down the symptoms. So maybe that is, if it dampers down at least their symptoms, maybe they have less of a, less of a chance of passing it by like coughing or sneezing. But what about that one term they used to say, asymptomatic? <laughs> 
So if there if you have the virus, if you have the vaccine and you're asymptomatic, you can still be walking around passing it to people. It just made you asymptomatic, but you're still a carrier. So we're not it's too much we're not gonna demonize the vaccinated people. Then you demonizing the unvaccinated people, then you demonizing the vaccinated workers. You call them essential heroes a, a year ago, and now you demonize them telling them they might not have a job if they don't get vaccine. Like, come on man. It's not like the government hasn't done things that aren't above board. It's not like people don't have reason to believe certain things like this. Like, come on. They admitted to the Tuskegee experiment, giving those men syphilis. <laughs> they admitted to that. You know what I mean? Uh, FDA approves all type of things that come back and they shouldn't have. You know what I mean? Uh, the cigarette companies, they were hiding tests. Big companies, big business can hide test results, can hide uh, side effects. They did that for years with the cigarette company. You know what I mean? They, they only covered that by an accident. Like, they got uncovered. The cigarette companies, um, come on, quit playing. Like, big companies, big business, they hide results. They hide um, studies. You know what I mean? You might not hear all the bad studies of the virus, but 10 years down the line, now they're talking about talcum powder causes cancer. It was FDA approved, or you know what I mean? It was not a drug, but it was it was deemed safe back in the day. You know what I mean? It passed some type of testing. Ten years later, you found out you got cancer from talcum powder. Roundup, you know what I mean? So we ain't gonna act like uh, money don't control agendas, and every scientist or doctor that went to school for twelve years telling you the real deal. You know what I mean? But. Let's not demonize these unvaccinated people. This disease can be spread just as much by vaccinated and unvaccinated. <coughs> now, if you come up with a vaccine that prevents you from catching it, then you got it. Now you got something to say. Now you got something to say. You might look. If you get this vaccine, you will not catch it, and then therefore you can't spread it. So now we, you know, what I mean, we got to we might have to force our hand on you, but it. 1.6% of the people that pet like people live from bounce back from the virus every day. But we know the ones who don't bounce back. They be immunosuppressed or um or um elderly. You know what I mean? Too heavy. You know what I mean? Already weren't in good shape. Oh all elderly people, healthy. Healthy or moderately healthy people bounce back every day, man. I've seen them. I've known people like. So we we not about to do these numbers. They but see what they do is keep posting the infection numbers. They ain't really posting these death numbers in comparison. Like they they want to tell you how the new cases and the new cases of Corona. One hundred twenty thousand new cases, new cases, spike in cases, but there don't be no big spikes in death because people are living. I'm out.